Welcome to the channel, everybody. Uh, today I have this 2018 uh, Cascadia with a DD15 engine, and it's having uh, these issues over here. So, uh, if we look at the screen of the computer, uh, come closer so you can you can see it. So we have these codes over here. Everything related to the engine and says fuel rail pressure too low. Uh, this one has nothing to do with it. But then we have uh, a lot of, of these codes referring to a low pressure system in the high pressure side. So the codes are inactive, but the driver of the truck says that uh, it comes on, it goes away, comes on, goes away. Um, at today, uh, at the moment, it is off, but uh, it comes, you know, randomly. But anyway, today I'm going to show you, I'm going to explain you how to fix problems like this. When you get a problem like this, you can see the code number 157, 10, 157, uh, 16, 164, uh, 15, and then we have this generic number over here. Uh, so, I'm going to explain you how uh, to fix it, where are you going to look to, uh, where you going to inspect the possible causes to this problem. So, uh, mostly if you go to a troubleshooting, like we can say here, uh, if uh, fuel pressure too low, so we go to a troubleshooting on this corner right here and we click on it. It's gonna give you more details about it, like saying that the desired pressure is uh, greater than uh, 200 bars from the actual pressure, and it's gonna tell you what to look in all that. And uh, mostly, this is all you wanna go after. But uh, there is other things that you have to pay attention before you do any of the troubleshooting, B basic things. Uh, then you are able to see um, physically. Uh, everything over here is more um, advanced in case you already did all the things that I wanna explain right now. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I wanna explain you all that. It's gonna tell you all troubleshooting, but in reality, troubleshooting like this sometimes uh, give you a different uh, guide to repair a problem uh, like this. So let's turn off the engine. All right, so the low pressure um, uh, errors, they happen because two things, or the pump is not pumping enough pressure or there is air on the system. So as if you don't know about uh, diesel, how diesel works, diesel works on suction most of the time. If suction uh, doesn't happen um, uh, the way it's supposed to be, it's gonna attract air, and air is going to cause a lot of problems with fuel pressure. So in this case, we have the fuel water separator. The fuel water separator is one of the best things you can have to actually identify problems when uh, you have low pressure um, on the high pressure side. So what happened here is that, uh, on the fuel water separator, you want to be able to see if you are getting bubbles. You add fuel to it. So right now the fuel is low because this filter is new. So the filter level is going to increase depending on how the restriction of the filter is. When the filter is new, it's going to be low. Uh, filter is old, it's going to be high. Some filters are going to have high restriction uh, from factory. So as soon as you start the engine, the level is gonna go high. So don't get alarmed if you get a problem. It's not, it's not something very uh, problematic. It is just depending on the type of filter you use. So uh, when you have the level all the way to the top right here, you wanna be able to see if you're getting bubbles over here. So if you're getting bubbles inside, I mean, it has to be big bubbles. If you get small bubbles, that's not a big deal. But if you get big bubbles, then you are able to see, uh, like, you know, like a lot of them, you have to fix that. So how to fix that is easy. All you have to do is follow the routing that goes all the way to the tanks. And then probably uh, most common uh, issue right where uh, the transmission goes, there is a divider 
then divides the lines from one tank to another. So mostly from there is where this problem happens. But if this is not the case, if you don't have any problems with uh, suction right here, so it goes, suction continues after the fuel water separator, continues all the way to the fuel filter housing and then to the low pressure pump. The low pressure pump is going to be located in the fuel pressure. This is the fuel pressure right here. The low pressure pump is going to be the one is right there on the bottom. That metal piece then is right here. So that is going to be the low pressure pump. So these lines over here, these two lines are going to be the ones that are going to uh, feed the pump and the other one is the ones that is going to press the pressure from the pump. So mostly, um, if you have air in the system after the fuel water separator, it could be because one of the seals over here, it is not sealing properly or you have a problem between right here. So this area of the fuel filter housing, you see it has some bolts over here. These bolts are because we have the divider of fuel high, uh, fuel high, uh, high fuel pressure and low fuel pressure. So this part of the fuel filter housing divides both of the uh, circuits. So if one of the little bars that are in here is stuck open, you are going to get this type of problems. Then it's going to get a light air of the system or low pressure. If any of these is not a problem, then you have to go to the fuel pump. Fuel pump, high pressure pump, anything that, ha anything that has to be from here to the rail. So what you wanna do here is look for leaks a visual leaks, it has to be something that you are able to see or it's going to leak. Obviously it has to be a big leak in order to have a big uh, uh, loss of pressure. If there is nothing here, you go inside to the injectors and so on. By experience, when you are getting problems like low pressure on uh, the reel, mostly what happens is the injectors go bad most of the time it's very very common to see that problem if you're getting any type of problem then says then uh fuel pressure low or fuel uh uh calm down test is didn't pass or anything that has to be with low pressure in the rail system most of the time has to do with bad fuel injectors um, the only problem that comes with bad fuel injectors is then you are not able to test them out. There is no way we can pull them out and test them outside because they use high pressure and this high pressure is only applied when you are having uh, the engine on motion. Uh, there, there could be a different tools you can use to testing out the injectors out, but it's going to be very expensive for us. So we are not going to carry that kind of tools. But uh, by experience that would be the most common problem but before you replace your injector you have to follow you know all these things because most of the time could be just a loose filter right here and that is the reason why you could be getting this problem and then you replace all the injectors and suddenly you decide i mean you, you start uh, seeing then the cut comes back and it's just because you have a during uh, a loosening uh, fuel filter housing or seal or probably one of the lines in the back is cracked open and is letting air inside the system. So that is very important that you uh, identify all these things before you do any type of repairs. So uh, it, it is just a basic explanation on how this is going to be, how this repair is going to be. But as I say, I mean, like uh, these type of problems, low pressure, rail, uh, rail low pressure, uh, they are going to have many different solutions. But one of the most common ones could be bad injectors. But anyway, uh, I, I hope you understand the explanation about this video, uh, this little sp uh, specific code. If you don't, uh, just be sure to comment below and there uh, you can ask me anything uh, if you know the answer to the question that other subscribers are asking just please 
comment below if you know the answers and uh, you can also use uh, Instagram to communicate directly with me just be patient most of the time I have so many questions and if I don't get to you don't feel like I am ignoring you I will get to you as soon as I have time so I hope you like this video um, share it um, like it and be sure to send support to the channel check the description below I have details how to send support to the channel and thank you for watching